What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Noteworthy, the only show on the internet where I, Roger McCorney, talks about a new story that happened recently that I found interesting. And this week, I want to talk about the Gears of War 4 trailer tomorrow because I found that to be noteworthy. So, a brand new Gears of War 4 trailer came out, but it's not just any old trailer, no, no, no. This trailer is a cinematic one. You're like, oh, we've seen enough of that, we've seen it since Killzone 2, like, what are you talking about, Roger? Well, let me tell you about this one, boy. You remember Gears of War 1? Remember that amazing Mad World trailer that everyone was like, oh my god, this game is gonna be so great, and it was really great, it set the tone for the entire game. It showed that soldiers in video games don't have to be the toughest thing ever, they go through hardship, they're scared. They're angry. They're going through troubling times. They don't have to be all really happy and glorified and shooting people in the face. No, no, no. This showed a realistic world. That trailer was amazing because it set up the entire game in a cinematic trailer better than a lot of other games. And hell yeah, brought back the song Mad World that was popularized by Donna Darko. And the trailer was awesome. And they remade it recently recently with Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and that was awesome as well. But now they have Tomorrow for Gears of War 4, and Gears of War 4 in a lot of ways is taking from the past, it's not completely rebooting the series, and it's going to move forward in a new sense. And I really think that this is going to be a great baseline for people to understand what this game is to the Gears of War franchise. Now, this trailer shows Marcus Phoenix, and you're like, holy crap, it's Marcus Phoenix, and then he he has a son and a family, and you realize that that son is the main character of Gears of War 4. Now, of course, we've known this for a little bit, but seeing him as a little kid, seeing that Marcus Phoenix was a part of his life, seeing Marcus Phoenix with a family, with a wife, with a child, you know, doing dad things, that's so cool to see, and to see how he kind of rubbed off on his son, who is now running through the woods, fighting all these bad guys, fighting all these monsters like his father, who is now estranged, they don't have a really good relationship, according to a Game Informer, uh, but you can see the similarities and they have a new song and that song is Sound of Silence which of course if you know anything about Arrested Development you know exactly what song I'm talking about got my yes. and Joel I realized got there yes. was finally nothing standing in the way of a loving committed relationship with Anne my life is a fallacy but this song is a really dark and dreary song that is amazing and sets a great tone and since you know marcus phoenix you know that character so well you feel that connection to jd phoenix who is his son now 25 years in the future past gears of war 3 and you feel connection to him you feel connection to this world i'm sold on the game i've been sold on this game for the last week or so and i've been honestly trying to talk to my friends and trying to get them to give me their xbox one for a month or so so i can play this game but man, I'm completely sold on it now. Like, I think that they're going in a path that is not the same thing, right? They're not going to go back and be like, hey, look at us. We used Mad World again. They're trying to tread new ground while also saying, hey, you know, we're not forgetting that you guys played four games, I guess, with Judgment uh, of Gears of War. We're not going to forget that. We're not going to erase that. The cog still exists. Marcus Phoenix still exists, right? His son still exists. You know, that universe is alive and well. Those characters are alive and well. We're just doing another chapter chapter a soft reboot if you would and it's a soft reboot basically and I, i'm really in love with the concept of this the trailer is fantastic go check it out right now if you haven't already and i'm very excited for this game more than i have been for a lot of games like this game is really going back and reminding me why i love this series the, the gears of war one is so special in my heart at least but most of all i love playing single player i love that campaign it was so dark it was felt it felt claustrophobic when the razor rain would come down it was haunting it was scary there was the sense of just being fearful around the next corner even though you're a huge bulky dude with a machine gun that has a chainsaw at the bottom of it you felt vulnerable as well as creating a universe that's even more rich because you have a character that is the son of marcus phoenix so what do you guys think about the trailer did you think it was amazing as i did leave your comments down below let me know love you all bye bye